Okay, this is the M1 paper from May 2022. This is question one we're looking at. It's a momentum and impulse question or a collisions question. We've got two particles, P and Q, that are moving towards each other. So if I say this is the before diagram, I've got P here and I've got Q here. They're moving towards each other. Uh, so in fact, let's put the arrows on. They're doing that. And what information have they given me? So they've told me that immediately before the collision speed of Q is 2U, the mass of Q is 3M, and the magnitude of the impulse, okay, impulse is gonna be 4MU. And it's the magnitude of the impulse exerted by P on Q. So it's by P on Q. In my question, you don't have to, but I'm gonna take that way as positive, given the information that they've given me there. So there's the before diagram. Afterwards, what's gonna happen? Oh, give me a second to use my iPad. Okay, so afterwards, what are we gonna have going on? Don't know yet. Well, I know that the mass is gonna stay the same. Um, doesn't tell me any more information, so I'm going to assume that, you can assume whatever you want, remember, with these questions. Uh, I'm gonna assume that Q is gonna continue going in that speed, sorry, in that direction with the speed V. If you wanna call it VQ, so you can call this one VP, then that's entirely up to you. Now, these two directions that I've taken are arbitrary there for VP and VQ. The maths will tell me whether I've got them in the right direction. So don't panic too much about what you're going to assume. Uh, let's go and actually get started with the question now. So it's part A. So we know that the impulse is given by 4MU and they want the speed of Q after the collision. So I want this thing here which should be absolutely fine because if I look at this scenario there then, what I've got here is the mass and the speed, the mass, and I'm looking for that, but I've got that. So the only unknown in this when I go ahead and do it will be VQ there. So I should be able to work that out, no problem at all. Let's tell the examiner what we're doing. Consider particle Q. Impulse is given by change in momentum. And V minus U, that shouldn't be an issue to you at all. So if I'm going to take um, to the right as positive, like I've just said, if I'm gonna take to the right as positive up there, then keep that standard all the way through. So I've got four MU is equal to, well, the mass is three M, but now when I'm doing V minus U, if I take to the right as positive, it's going to be minus VQ and it's going to be minus 2U, but minus minus makes a plus 2U there. Let's multiply it all out and see what we get. So we get 4MU is equal to minus 3MVQ plus 6MU. So if I take, I'm going to take that over to that side and that over to that side now, just to make things simpler. Uh, we can cancel the M's at this stage as well if I want to. I'm going to get 3VQ is equal to 6U minus 4U. So VQ, rather 3VQ is equal to 2U, but VQ then works out to be 2U over 3. And it works out to be 2u over 3, assuming that that's going in that direction now, okay? So I've assumed that that's the situation. So v equals 2u over 3. And for part b, since v is equal to 2u over 3, or rather let's call it vq as I've called it vq previously, since that's true, the direction is unchanged or remains the same. So that was answering 
the second part there. Only a one mark answer, so should be quite quick there. I've done all the work in part A. Okay, hopefully that makes sense.